guys, so today we're going to go over our dairy breeds. So go ahead and take out your dairy breeds um, note-taking sheet. Put your name in the bottom left corner. Alright, so first thing we're going to talk about up in the top left corner of that is the hold. So as you can tell, this is all the breeds we'll be going over in the coming weeks. So make sure you have each of your notes for each one of these. Let's start with the dairy. So we're going to start with the upper left hand corner and start with Holsteins. So the Holstein originated in the Netherlands. Their average lifespan is about six years. The highest milk production in the, in the world. So they are the most, when a farmer really wants a high producing animal, they normally will go with the Holstein to start off with. They're good natured and easy to handle. As most of the dairy breeds are, they are a lot easier to handle when you compare them to the beef breeds. Um, and then they have the most popular colors, you know, like the Chick-fil-A cow are obviously the Holsteins, the black and white, but they also have this red and white. And when it's red, it's like very red. Like it's um, not very, it doesn't like go back to, it's not brown, it's not really, it is red. So that's how you can tell them. All right, and then next we have the Jersey here in the bottom right. All right, so you have the Jerseys, they came from the Isle of Jersey, um, just like their names. As you'll see with most of these names, they do come from places that have similar, they came in their name. So they're a lot smaller than the Holstein. They're one of the smallest of the entire um, dairy cow breeds. And that is one thing they really enjoy for them because farmers don't have to worry about, um, you know, they don't have to have all the housing for them. Their beds are a lot smaller, so they're able to make more use out of what they do have. They're known for their butter fat contact and their content in their milk. So like, for example, they, um, you know, have that yellowish color, all the butter fat rises to the top after they start going, or after the milk sits for a minute. So they love that. You know, it's used for butter, it's used for cream, that kind of stuff. It's not expensive to feed and hardly no calving problems. So um, they aren't as expensive to feed because they aren't, they're just as, they, they're not as big as the Holsteins. They don't get as big. They don't take as much to consume. Typically they're light brown, like a fawn color and can look gray to dull black in the face. Um, may have some white patches as well throughout their body. Like you can see on this one, the feet here have white spots, up in here white, um, up near its ears. And then they always have a black nose and a white muzzle. So like you'll see black in the middle and then right around it'll be all white. Next we have the brown Swiss. So for the brown Swiss is the oldest of the dairy breeds that originated from Switzerland. Um, it's light brown as well, but this one is almost like a gray um, than a lighter brown. Um, they have the white, white muscle and white nose. Um, and they live for about 12 to 15 years. This is one of the more least common dairy cows that you'll see. You'll have like a couple of them in a farm, but you won't have as many, like just, a farm normally won't just have dairy, or brown Swiss. Then we can go on to the Guernsey. The Guernsey originated from the Isle of Guernsey, which milk, the milk has a rich yellow color where they get the name Golden Guernsey um, because of the color of their milk. Now these are where the colors, these look a lot like a red and white Holstein. But when you see them in person, um, the red of a Holstein is very red, like bright red, where this kind of has like a brownish tint to it where it doesn't fully look like, where it doesn't fully look like a Holstein. And then it also has the white patches as well. They consume 20 to 30% less feed. So that's really important for dairy farmers because they can eat off grass more. Um, so they have a really high producing milk, even though they eat a lot of grass. So that's really awesome for dairy farmers that they can put them out on pasture and don't have to feed them as much grain. And they reach maturity at an early age. So they start calving a lot earlier than um, other breeds. Last but last, last but not least, the Ayrshire. It originated from Scotland. The reddish color, but the red is like to a reddish brown mahogany color. So this is a really deep red brown. Looks very wood-like color and can be very dark or very light. 
but it'll always have that brown tint to it. And it's considered the ideal drinking milk and because of its protein and fat content levels, and it's, they're less likely to get mastitis. All right, so we went over those. So remember, next we'll be going over our breeds of swine, sheep, make sure you have all of your things, poultry, and then beef breeds. Beef breeds will be next, so make sure you have those for you. All right. Now I want you to grab a partner and get one sticky note. Ooh, if I can find my sticky notes. All right. We're going to pretend this is a sticky note, and what I want you to do is you're going to write one breed on here. One breed of dairy. Okay? I'll give you three seconds. All right. What I want you to do is fold it up, hand it to a partner. You're going to hand it to them, and they are just going to put it behind their back. Or if you have the sticky note, you can put it on their back so they don't see it, whatever you want. And then I want you to, your partner and you, you should, so that means each of you should have a card written with a breed on it. Hopefully they're two different breeds. Um, you're going to ask each other yes or no questions. For example, if I'm trying to decide if I'm a Jersey, I'm going to ask am I this Am I the smallest of the dairy breeds? And you'll answer that question, yes or no. And that'll determine if it was a jersey. Or I'll ask, um, is the color of my milk golden? You can use your notes for the first time. And then once you finish, I want you to do it again with a different set of animals. And then um, I'll give you about 10 minutes and then we'll get back to it. Okay, guys?